Hi, my name is Ernest, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom results page with Elementor Loop Grid and Ajax Search Pro. And by custom results page, I mean a different page from the default search archive. The benefit of this is that you can create as many different results pages as you want. For example, let's start by adding a new page. So let's go to the pages menu, add a new page, and I'm just going to call this, oh, Okay, templates, I don't need this. Search results, okay? This is what we're gonna call this page. I'm gonna publish this uh, and we will go come back to this later. Uh, I will have a new panel open, but uh, you just go back to the administrator interface, open Ajax Search Pro. I already have a few instances, but I'm just gonna create a new one. So let's call this uh, whatever Elementor, oh, there you go, Elementor results page. There we go. And now let's configure the search. Um, First off, I like a one template very much. Recently, this is one, this rounded lilac. Uh, it's not, it doesn't matter which one we choose here because uh, we are going to use Elementor as the results. So if you preview this, I, I kind of like this design, but it doesn't matter. Now let's choose what, uh, let's go back to the search sources post type search and let's choose what do we want to see in the search results. Uh, this uh, installation is kind of empty, so I'm going to choose uh, uh, products as well, aside from process and pages, but it doesn't really matter. And one more thing under the search behavior, um, magnifier and return actions, what we want to do is choose to redirect to an element or post widgets page. There we go. And search for here that uh, select the page element or post widget which also includes like uh, the loop grid and uh, the products widget. Let's just search for the search results page. There we go. So let's select this. Once it's selected, let's just save. And basically, I think this is all we have to do in Ajax Search Pro. Now, oh, there's one more thing. Uh, under the search behavior and search element or archive shop page live results panel, there's this thing we're going to need this one this ASPES 6 but uh, not right now because first off we need to create a uh, elemental loop grid because I don't have one so let's go to the templates I'm gonna open this in a new panel and let's just add new template I think this is the menu yeah and let's select uh, what is this loop item uh, and choose source type it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna use posts so it initially gonna like display posts and I'm gonna product loop item or maybe search results, I guess that's better. So let's create this template. I'm not really good at like designing these. So please excuse me that uh, I'm just gonna <clears throat> try to use a flex blocks layout there. And um, what we need to do is add like the post title. And I think I need to select like the 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 source of the post URL. There we go. So we have a we have a post title and let's just add like the, the image so it looks kind of better. Like maybe I was trying to do it like this. All right. And this is kind of big. Maybe if I choose heading to okay, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. I, obviously, you're much better than uh, me at this. Now we have a loop grid which I published. And what we need to do is go back to the search results page that we created. And I'm just going to hit edit with Elementor because that's much easier. But I think there's a short code that I could just, you know, put in here. What I'm just going to do. Oh, did I not save the page? I think I did. Oh, it doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do here is a uh, the same thing. And I'm just going to add the loop grid, I guess. Yep, there we go. I need to choose a template. And this was search results, I guess, search results template. There we go. I think we have it. Now let's publish this. Okay. Oh, I need to keep this open yet because, okay, I almost forgot. So let's edit the, the, the loop grid and go to advanced and the CSS classes. There we go. And as you remember, I said earlier that uh, and the search instances, I need this thing. Okay, so let's go back to the search uh, settings onto search behavior, search element or archive shop live results and scroll down. And here is a add to element or post widget class name to enable live filtering. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put it here. Uh, and uh, what I need to do now is to place, uh, okay, not this. What I need to do now is to, I guess, open the page. Can I open it from here somewhere? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really good with Elementor, as you can tell. Okay, let me go back to the pages. Oh, there's search results. Uh, let me view this. How does this look? Okay, there we go. So we have the hello world result here. As you can see, it's not very nice. But this whole thing comes together by... Let me just go back to the, this uh, page. And let's edit this hello world, which uh, used to have a search bar, which is no longer there. So let's just select a different one. Let me just delete this. And I'm going to put a search bar into this page. You can, of course, put it anywhere you want. You can put it in the header or the footer or whatever. I'm just going to, for like a sake of simplicity, I'm just going to put the search bar into this post. And let me view this and see. Now we have this hello world uh, with the search bar. Imagine the search bar can be anywhere. Now, if I search for, for example, logo, I know there's a product. So these products should show up if I hit enter on the search results page. And they do, as you can see. So see, now this is this is the big power of this. So you can create as many of these loop grids and, and search results pages and set different search instances so to, to, to redirect to these search pages. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you is that, let's go back, I think this is the loop grid. Oh, I have too many tabs open. Okay, so this is the search results page edited with Elementor. And what I want to do is put a search above this, put the original search. And for that, we're going to need the search shortcode. So on the search settings, click this, there's the shortcode. You can also grab the shortcode if you just go to add Ajax Search Pro. And this is our search instance. Just grab this, copy this. Let's go back to the, the page editor, put the shortcode here. Boom, we already have the search there. Just apply, publish. And let's go back to the search results page. So let me just refresh this. See, now we have the search here. So let's try to, you know, do this again. I'm just going to search logo, enter. And there we have a search bar. Now, what happens if I, if I try to search like beanie? Beanie. Look, it live reloads. It live reloads because I did this extra step on the, on the editor on this search results page editor by adding this class, which corresponds to the same search ID. So Ajax Search Pro detects this and and it like determines that, okay, you want to live reload these results and it does that. It really is not that complicated. It may look like it, but it really isn't. And from here, you can go whatever you want to do. Uh, what I uh, usually do additionally to this, so let's go back here. So if if I search, for example, logo, right, you may want to disable these results, right? You may not want to show them. You just want to redirect to the, the, the elemental results page and do the live filtering there, right? So let's go back to the search settings here. And under the search behavior, live search triggers, and let, let's just turn them off. Let's just turn them off. And I think uh, it should already do the trick. So if I just go logo, see nothing happens if I hit enter. It goes here, but if I search Beanie, see the live filtering continues. And that is because there are separate options here that override that trigger live search while typing. Trigger live search when changing facet settings. See, these override because we are on a uh, widget, element or post widget uh, loop grid uh, filter page. So this overrides that. So yeah, I think uh, this is all there is to it. Uh, you can imagine like placing this search bar anywhere on any page, anywhere on the website and header menu, whatever, wherever you want to put it. You can create multiple ones for multiple loop grids, for multiple results pages. You see why that is, you know, such a powerful feature. All right. This is all I wanted to show you. If you don't have a license yet, well, what are you waiting for? Links in the description below. If you have any questions, links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye bye.